Hey guys, so this has been the shock of the show. These guys, Hawk War Games, and I'm joined by Dave, by the way. Say hello, Dave. Hiya. <laughs> I've come out of absolutely nowhere and have basically pretty much stolen the show, yeah? They've come out with their game, Drop Zone Commander, which looks absolutely stunning, as you're about to find out during this video. But to kick off, Dave, tell us a little bit about Drop Zone Commander. What's it all about? Hey, it's a 10mm um, scale mass battle sci-fi game. Um, based around the entire complete concept of dropships. So you might play, you commonly play a game where you don't even have any troops on the table at all, and your entire army is dropped in, everything. You might have, a, I mean, obviously it changes with scenario, you might have a defender being attacked by an army coming in by, you know, space drop or whatever. Um, or you might even have a Mogadishu Black Hawk Down style yeah. scenario where you have four objectives of VIPs around the table and you have to fly in. You might not even have a table edge. You might be able to come in from anywhere, extract them, nice. get your VIPs yeah. up and get them off the table. You have obviously fighters to intercept them. You have air defense. It's just as much about what's going on in the air as what's going on on the ground, but it's predominantly a ground game. Yeah. Um, a lot of people today have been talking about the miniatures because that's what's on show really at this yeah. stage. Um, they're very newly, sort of new tech resin casting, yeah. which is resin like you've probably not seen before. It's very, very tough. You can bend it about 80 degrees and it won't break. Not that I recommend it, but you can jump up and down on top of it and it's all right. Nice. Very little preparation in terms of building an army, very fast, very little flashing, very high quality resin parts and detail of Pretty, pretty good detail, I think. As, I mean, the yeah. models hopefully speak for themselves. And Dave, everybody's yeah. talking about the detail of these things, mate. So I think you'll be pretty confident on that front. So I've been spending, um, well, the last two and a half years, literally, I haven't really had a life for two and a half years. I've just been doing this for 15 hours a day. It, it's been my life. I've sort I think of, we need to take you out for a beer after this, uh, mate, yeah? I'm going, I'm going out for, um, I've got friends over at my house for a big after party and I'm going to get, probably going to get drunk tonight, to be honest. <laughs> I think you deserve it. it so it's, um, it. Uh, in terms of the game mechanics and stuff like that, uh, can you give us a little bit of an insight into okay. how the game's going to play? Uh, the game is an alternate activation system. Mm -hmm. um, oh, by the way, it will come with a full color, 150 page printed rule book. Um, so it's an alternate activation, but you don't activate unit by unit because that's a pain and it's fiddly. Um, you, you know, you activate by battle group, which is yeah. a group of units to operate as a section. So, so you might have two heavy dropships containing two sets of nine tanks. Yeah. and that's one battle group and you activate that and do what you need to do with that. Your opponent might want to interrupt by sending in fighters to intercept or whatever, obviously you can't do that if it's ground units, but yeah. your opponent will always be able to respond because you can never deploy overwhelming force in one go. Yes. So it's always balanced, you're never bored for more than a couple of minutes at a go, you're always involved, you know, there's interrupts that you can play at any point so you can always be thinking about what you want to do. You know, it, it's a very fluid game, not too complicated. I mean, obviously, being a ground game with this dropship aspect and things, it's, yeah. you know, there, there's a bit of rules to learn. It's, it's not ridiculous, and, you know, you should be able to play a game in about an hour and a half or so. So it's, it's you know, it's fairly fast play. It's not really basic, because yeah. being a 10 mil game, the unusual thing is it's got a lot of character. The models have their own rules with their own weapons, and sometimes they all have plenty of background. Loads and loads of fluff for people to soak up. We're creating a whole new game universe for this to go in. This sure. is the first of many games, yeah. but we're obviously we're going to be occupied with this one for a while. So but when do you reckon the rules <laughs> and stuff are going to come out? So. Well, we have, um, we're taking pre-orders from the 1st of June yeah. on the site. We could have sold stock today. We have all our stock made, ready to go, uh, but well, the rules aren't completely play-tested. So we didn't want to do that yeah. because we're delivering... So purely exhibited product. today. Nobody was able to buy anything. Purely exhibited models. We, we haven't been on sale. We're just letting people know that it exists and giving people a chance to see the models and hopefully talk about them. For you modelers out there, one of the other fantastic things about this game is, uh, Dave, the drop ships, you can actually fit what's in them in onto the drop ships. Yeah. It is actually to scale. Yeah, every single ground unit is drop ship portable, and every single one will actually physically fit inside their drop ship. Yeah. So you can assemble them if they're tanks with fold down turrets, for example, they all fold in and they fit. So, magnets, guys, magnets galore. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be people that use rare earth magnets and things yeah. to have them detachable. Some, some are easier to do than others. I'll be posting hobby articles about that for those who are not sure about yeah. how to do that. 
Um, but it, it's a personal preference thing. You don't have to have full drop ships on the table for the rules. You know, you put a token on the base to say that it's got nine tanks in it. But it's a personal preference thing. You know, people. Will. I've left that up to the gamer, really. Well. We've got something special for you. So you've heard Dave say that nobody in the world has these. He hasn't sold any. Guess what? One of you lucky guys is going to be one of the first people, well, probably the first people in the world to get access to... Um, a whole a small battle group. Well, actually, probably it's going to be quite a large battle group. So that'll be a heavy drop ship with nine tanks to go in it. Very nice. Now, you know the score, guys. What we're going to do, me and Dave, we're going to have an arm wrestle. You guys start writing down below now who you think is going to win that arm wrestle. Of the guys who guessed correctly, we're going to pick somebody at random and you're going to get that awesome piece of kit sent out to you. Bear so, in mind, I've had like no sleep for the last week, so I'm not exactly at my best, but I'll, I'll do my best. Nah. <laughs> All right, Dave. Much sleep either, no, I, I haven't, mate. Right, so, so, right, you need your foot on this side, good, okay? Right. And, 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 we're, just... and we're going to count down to three, okay? Yep. All right. When I get ready now, I get yeah, my. To I'm going to get my chi in place. <laughs> I'm going to get my chi ready. Yeah, okay. So, three, two, two and a bit. <laughs> One. Oh.